maybe I could just go for it. Now I'm worried about. Well, I just get to gas it now, don't I? Can't mess, mess around. We have a left bend. So I'm watching for that. Here it is. And we made the left bend. Now we're heading nose down. And full way rudder again. And it's a right air on. And we're in the air. See, that's how you do a takeoff on a ridiculous uh, strip like that. And credit to the girl, she didn't say a word. Did not say a word. And we've got to head off in the mountains over here now. Boom, getting some action. That's where we just took off from. That was fun. I've still got to head um, up this valley. Yeah, that should take us nicely where we want to go. We need to be at least 500 feet above the airport, maybe a thousand before we start to the land. We have to get over that ridge t uh, to the top of us, and then we're, we're probably golden. It's rare that you will travel this slow speed and still be scared about the flight. In a way, it's because of that slow speed. You've got no way to recover or power your way out of a problem. Mustang would be fantastic flying around these mountains, but no chance of landing at those airports. This is a turnaround. I think it is. Oh god. Okay. Put the nose down. Keep the speed over 40. What you're doing? We'll stick back. Keep it above 40. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it, keep it. Okay, we did the turn. Get out of trouble. Wow. Gotta get over that ridge. Oh, we're good. We're good for the ridge. I think we can get around the uh, ahead. I can't believe I've got to climb to 10,000. There's a ridge over there. Gotta get over here. No, we're not going to make that, are we? Let's go around it. Like 14 pounds of fuel left, last time I checked. Yes, that's where we have to go, but now we've got some leeway to get over our original path. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we can make this ridge this time. Anybody fallen asleep yet? Okay, I think we can make it. Here we go, I gamble. We can get over there. We can get over there. After this is gonna be an hour flying. And of course anybody watching this will have thought, an hour? Nope, I fast forwarded it. To all the exciting bits. All those wonderful turns and panic moments. No, you don't want to be stalling now. No, you don't. No, so close to our bridge. That's how close we are. Come on, we've done it. Hey, that's probably the airport there. <laughs> no, it's not to the right. But we made the ridge. But we're on our last gallon of fuel. So like 11% full. But we've got our descent. Now we have to come over this mountain. And there's a, there is the airport straight afterwards. But we have to descend. And do a circle. Because you can't land in this direction. So you'll see why when we go over this ridge. Hold on, so the airport's to the right. Like, like right there. There it is. Okay. There it is. That's where I have to land. That's where we're going to land there. On that hill. Where you say? Where you say? Yeah, there. I'll do our first pass. Just to gauge the speed, because uh, I can't get a good view and look at the speedo, can I? Yeah, I can. That's legal. It's up in this hill here. The last thing we want to do is to lose enough loose altitude so we can't land on it. It's here. I said it was ridiculous, didn't I? I can't even see it, we're going to make sure we get high enough. Yeah, first time I came here in a small aircraft, I just lost too much altitude, so I think we're not going to get up again. Full throttle on, I'm just by keeping it level. I need that swell there, didn't I? Okay, do a little bounce for me. Uh, 
happened? What happened is that I landed on my tundra tires, baby. That's where we did up here. We stole land. See, I reached that crash after like an hour flying because I knew we could bounce on the tires. If we didn't have the Tundra tires on, we would have uh, crashed with the impact. They are bouncy babies. And that's a mountain there. I got crap at my foot turning that. <laughs> 